Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the, I want to say, Dollar General exclusive Megatron. Uh, as I said, this did come from Dollar General. Uh, about $5. I just did a review on the Dollar General Optimus Prime, um, which, if you're watching this in the playlist, should come up right after this video. Uh, but anyway, as I said with Optimus, a uh, very decent Transformer figure for the price. It's about $5 at Dollar General. Uh, the, my local Dollar General had Megatron, they had Optimus, and they had Starscream. Uh, I did not pick up Starscream because I've never really been much of a Starscream fan. John, my former co-host here, he's a huge Starscream fan, so John, if you're watching this, Head on over to Dollar General. I got these at the Mount Zion Dollar General. Um, they may still have Starscream there for you. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging real quick. Zoom out. Um, very generic clamshell packaging. There you have Megatron up there in animation style, I, I guess. Uh, and then his tank mode there. Uh, Decepticon Megatron, ages 6 and up from Hasbro, uh, the Transformers logo. Uh, it did come with, uh, just like with Optimus, even though I forgot to mention this, instructions. Very, very simple transformation. So anyway, and then here on the back, Evil Decepticon Leader. Uh, you got Megatron and his tank mode. Uh, Optimus was four easy steps. Uh, Megatron is six steps. Uh, you can see here, it's an authentic Transformers figure from Hasbro. And we'll wait while that vehicle passes by. All right. So real quick, before we get into them, let's do a little comparison between... Megatron and Optimus Prime from the same same Dollar General line. Uh, Megatron is obviously larger than Optimus. Um, I think they're pretty well even size-wise in the cartoon and comics. Uh, Megatron may be a little bit taller, but I don't think it's by much. At least I don't think it's by as much as here. Uh, as you can see, I do have to lean Optimus forward a little bit because of the giant backpack on his back. Uh, also, for size comparison, uh, we compared Optimus to Cloud Raker last time. Let's go ahead and turn this a bit. And... We also compared him to Twinferno. Now for Megatron, let's compare him to Wingspan. Quite a bit taller than Wingspan. We'll also compare him to Trigger Happy. From the same line as Twinferno. As you can see, Trigger Happy is quite a bit taller than Megatron. Uh, Megatron is quite a bit taller than Wingspan. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and move these guys off to the side. And we'll take a look at the articulation for our fallen Megatron. <laughs> Zoom in a bit. There we go. All right, so for articulation, his head is on a ball joint. I can look up slightly, look down slightly. Uh, he can turn his head, but it is very difficult to turn it because of his shoulders there. 
Uh, he can do that confused dog look. Uh, his arms do go all the way around. Uh, they bend at the elbow. All right. They can go up about that far. Uh, he does have his gun, which can turn. He does not have a back cannon, though. Uh, his legs go that far up. Bend at the knee. Let's zoom back out a bit. Oop. There we go. Bend at the knee. And go all the way back. Like that. And you get kind of an ankle rocker, but that's part of his transformation. Uh, overall, the paint job is very nice. Simplistic, but nice. Got the Decepticons logo there. Uh, the back is incredibly simplistic because of the transformation. So let's go ahead and transform. First things first, we got to take the gun off. Okay. Bring the arms back. Just like that. Okay. Well, I guess first thing before we do that. Bring the feet out, bring the legs up. They connect right there. Then, oh no. Very, a lot easier than Optimus to pop back on. All right, this part's a little bit more difficult. Let's see, there we go. All right, bring his arms around. Okay, and you're almost done. His cannon or gun pegs this little hole there and a little hole right there. Uh, two pegs there on both sides. You'll peg it into one side. And then you'll peg it in to the other side, just like that. Like I said, very simple transformation. Uh, let's go ahead and adjust that a bit. There we go. Uh, the treads, they do not move. Uh, there's no wheels on the bottom or anything. Um, let's do a size comparison between Megatron's tank mode and Optimus Prime's truck mode. So here's the truck mode. There's the tank mode. Uh, as you can see, in robot mode, Megatron is a little bit bigger than Optimus, but in in vehicle mode, uh, Optimus is obviously bigger than Megatron, uh, which I don't know if I agree with. I think Megatron in that case should be larger than Optimus. He's a tank, should be big, he should be massive and intimidating. So, move him back out of the way and we'll transform Megatron back. All right, so first things first, we get rid of the gun. Just pops right back out like that. And then spin the arms around. Uh, you'll have to go clockwise because of the feet there. Bring the feet or legs down. Put the feet. <laughs> My dog's barking back there. Back into place. All right. Bring the arms out and down. 
and then we'll reattach the gun and it will go on this side just like that uh, like I said very simple transformation very basic figure uh, but a very decent transformer for the five dollar price tag uh, as I said I picked this along with Optimus up at Dollar General uh, five dollars can't beat it so let's go ahead and turn this gun around as you can see there's peg hole there and it does look like uh, both his and Optimus's hands can hold other transformer weapons let's go ahead and check on that here is gun from Twinferno yep just pegs right in there holds it pretty tight very nice um, so yeah uh, if you got a Dollar General near you which I'm sure you do they're on just about every corner nowadays uh, head on over there and pick you up a couple transformers very great buy for the price I have to say I was a little concerned uh, because of the price tag and because of Dollar General isn't really known for quality toys but I, I have to say I'm very impressed so anyway that does it for today guys take care if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture also make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.